Disclaimer, I am blind and I am using an eye device. So for those of you who can actually see the picture, please forgive its quality. But when this particular blind person makes a video, this is just what it looks like. Hi everyone, this is Anne and welcome back to Sightless Sunday. You know, this channel, I guess it has two reasons for being, I guess the term is. Number one, to prove that there is life beyond blindness, to prove that, yes, being blind does mean there are differences between the way you do things and the way a sighted person does things. But there is hope for people who are blind. And the other reason why this channel exists is to reach out to sighted people to make a point to them about things that they can do to help or things that might not help that they so readily do. First, I want to acknowledge and thank a woman who watched my video last week and realized how much she does rely on pictures and hopefully got some some idea of what she and people like her can do to their videos to make them appreciated by the blind. I'm not saying her videos aren't appreciated appreciatable or appreciated by the blind, but I thank you, Andrea, for commenting and reaching out, and I'm glad you got something out of last week's video, and I hope that people can get something out of this week's video, too, because... Okay, are there any advertisers watching this video? If so, please pay attention to what I'm about to say because this one's for you. I'm gonna put the camera down and turn to my braille sense, which is my... Top of document. Text. Basically, okay. Voice off. Voice off. Um, my specialized computer that's designed specifically for blind people it's kind of like a, if you remember the old PDAs, uh, personal digital assistance or whatever PDA stood for, or P, like, like a Blackberry. Yeah, those are old, but it does a lot of stuff that, it does a lot of stuff, but it's not an outright laptop. It's. Again, designed with a braille keyboard, braille display, specifically made for blind people. I might do a separate video about that later, but the point is I'm using it to read this article. I came upon this article the other day and I agreed with it so much that I thought maybe I should read this on a sightless Sunday because I completely agree with the, with with what this writer is saying and I don't know what the odds are that a advertiser is actually watching but I did want to share this. This is from the American Council of the Blind's monthly publication called the Braille Forum. Uh, this article is written by Yvonne B. Garris, and it's titled, That Commercial Was For What? And I will be <laughs> stopping to comment throughout the reading of this article, but I wanted to share, I wanted to share this because I absolutely agree with this. 
This article starts out, I was watching television last night and, once again, several commercials were aired that I have no idea what they were selling. This has been a pet peeve of mine for quite some time and I would like to know if anyone else feels the same way. I take my hands off the braille sense long enough to say, yes, I for one feel exactly the same way. Returning to the article, she says, I am legally blind, so I do not see what is on the television, but I can generally follow along, follow along, period. However, when it comes to commercials, there are there are some that are just music and some where the dialogue does nothing to describe the product. Here is what I want the advertisers to know. Just because a person may be visually impaired does not mean they do not shop, dine out, go to movies, and do everything else a sighted person would do. According to the American Foundation of the Blind, 20.6 million American, American adults age 18 and older reported experiencing vision loss. This large number warrants advertising companies produce commercials that everyone can understand. Visually impaired people should be valued no less than our sighted counterparts. I challenge advertisers to close their eyes and listen to their commercials. After hearing your ad, do you know what the commercial is for? If not, please change the commercial. And I take my hands off the braille sense long enough to say, I second that, please change the commercial. In fact, I'm gonna go back and reread that because that is one of the best examples of the point of this article in this video. On behalf of this writer and myself as a blind person, and for that matter, everyone who feels the same way we do, I'm gonna repeat this paragraph. I challenge advertisers to close their eyes and listen to their commercials. After hearing your ad, do you know what the commercial is for? If not, please change the commercial. She goes on to say, one commercial that drove me crazy repeatedly mentioned the brand name, but not the product. The brand name, let's call it Aura, not the real name, gave me no hint as to what was for sale. I had to wait until a sighted person told me what they were promoting. Imagine my surprise in learning it was a food product. I ask you, what does Aura have to do with food? This commercial had an adverse effect on me. Instead of wanting to buy the product, I actually do not want to buy it because it made no effort to convince me and it left me frustrated repeatedly. There are several examples of good commercials. Restaurants generally have good commercials with descriptions of their food that make my mouth water. Now, if you were in advertising, this should be music to your ears. 
when I want to go out to eat, what will I think about? Yes, those mouth-watering commercials. Auto companies also make good commercials. <laughs> I take my hands off the braille sense long enough to say, you know, it's interesting that auto companies make good ads, even though blind people, I mean, good job, car companies, but blind people are not going <laughs> to, that's, I think that's probably one of the few exceptions to the rule that blind people and sighted people can do a lot of the same things. Driving, that's probably going to be another story. I could do a separate video about the whole phenomenon of self-driving cars and what I think about it. I don't disagree with the idea, but I greet it with a lot of skepticism. Anyway, returning to the article, uh, she says, Auto companies also make good commercials. I have a good idea what kind of car gets the best gas mileage and has the best financing. There is another category of commercials that seems to be so good but fail to deliver. These are the ones that make the product sound so good, I'm ready to pull out my wallet and buy, buy, buy. Then, what happens? They say, call the number on your screen or enter the code you see on the screen to get a discount. That's where they lose my money. I can't see the number or the discount code. I take my hands off the braille sense to say, preach it. I am so there. <laughs> Returning to the article, I want to challenge all advertisers to make your commercials clear to all consumers, not just those gifted with sight. Companies are losing business because one segment of the population cannot decipher what you are trying to promote. And that ends the article. And yeah. That was the writings of one blind person. And I am another blind person who completely agrees. Especially when... A lot of people might think that blind people can't live alone, but I'm proof that we can. I do live alone. In other words, I don't have a built-in sighted person to, to say, oh, yeah, here's what the number is, or here's what the discount code is, or, yeah, that silly scene where there was no dialogue, or there was dialogue, but it had nothing to do with anything, I don't know how they expected you to realize that this is what this is what they're selling i don't have working eyes connected to a person that i live with to tell me that stuff and my eyes don't work either obviously that's what blind means so yeah number 1 i'm completely out of the loop number 2 even people who do have sighted people living with them shouldn't have to go to the sighted person just to find out what the advertisement was for. Now, I do take a moment and commend those people who bother to have a commercial that talks about their product, and then they may say, you know, so what are you waiting for? A call, and then they actually have a person saying to order call and then they actually read the number good for you to those of you advertisers who actually make it a point to do that good for you and keep up the good work for those of you who don't please start it's 
you don't have to have a master's degree in business to know that it's pretty bad business sense to make up your mind that people who can't see must not want your product. Unless you're, again, selling something that is simply not meant to be used by blind people. But, I mean, those are probably pretty few and far between. I mean, it's just like she said, you know, just because just because I can't see doesn't mean I can't appreciate the way something tastes. That may be the most scrumptious food in the world. But I'll never know that if you don't bother to tell me through words. Not just through, you know, don't just have a picture of somebody stuffing their face. I can't see what they're stuffing their face with. You know... Food, things that appeal to the sense of touch, smell, hearing, you know, those are things that we can appreciate. And the fact that our inability to see makes it impossible for me to know what your commercial is selling or makes it impossible for us to take advantage of that commercial really isn't helpful. So if anyone who actually works in advertising is watching, please take into consideration that in a lot of cases, blind people can still enjoy what you're promoting. But you lose us at call now and then no voice reading the number. You lose us at just music and the sound of, I don't know, just people hanging out or talking or talking about something that has nothing to do with what you're promoting. And then there's no, there's no voiceover announcing, well, you know, when I say voiceover in this case, I mean person saying, this is the point of the ad. I might maybe not in this particular video, but I might follow this video up later with some examples of some commercials that we're talking about, this article's writer and I, because this has been going on for a couple of years now, and I've noticed it too, and I don't like it either. So, <laughs> just something for you advertisers and, and businesses to think about. Don't forget that business might be good and even better when people who can't see buy your stuff. But the only way we'll be interested in even thinking about buying your stuff is if we have any clue what in the world the commercial's for. Okay, this video is getting long, and I think I've, dri I've driven the points home of both the article's author and myself. Thank you for watching, and... I hope you'll like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for more Sightless Sunday, and before that, with other kinds of videos. Bye.